Now that we've done all of our proof of performance times throughout the season, the next step will be to actually enter the swimmers in the state meet. Before we do that, a couple of quick reminders on proof of performance. First, don't forget every proven time must be entered into the system within seven days of its performance. That's a state mandated deadline and the idea is to maintain the system in a transparent fashion so the times are available for all teams to see throughout the season, sort out any erroneous times that may pop up prior to the state meet and make sure that we have a clean heat sheet for the state meet. Your diving submissions are done through a separate process directly to Vicki Sanchez Tweemer. Contact info for her can be found either in the GHSA manual or on the Contact Us link on this tutorial. Once you have an approved proof of performance diving sheet from Vicki, once it's been approved from her and put up on the GHSA website, you'll want to go into this system through the Georgia Prep Country system and declare your diver as qualified for state. Again, just a matter of transparency and keeps things simple and well run and it will also allow you to enter them in the high-tech file that will be created later at the end of the year for your state meet entry. Last but not least, again, please police your times throughout the year, and if you see anything out of line, make sure it's corrected and brought to the attention of the state meet director, Frankie Marsden, or Andy Cowart with the GHSA, if anything is out of order. Now that we're moving on to the system, we'll go ahead and input the times for the state meet or input the entries for the state meet. So we've updated these times throughout the year. As the swimmers go faster, we've gone in and made the corrections that we need to make and made the times quicker and input the according date and verifying coach information. To actually do your state entries, we'll go to team functions and select swimming state roster, which will take us to the state meet entry screen. Notice you've got some general reminders up here on how to do this. This is last year's interface screen. The technical deadline is actually Friday, January the 30th, if I recall correctly, at 4 p.m. To enter any of your swimmers in the state meet, notice you'll have check boxes for any of the qualified entries. To enter a swimmer, check the box. Their proven time in the system will be brought up as their entry time for that event. Please remember athletes are limited to two individual events maximum as well as up to three relays with a combined total of no more than four entries in the state meet. They could have three relay events and one individual event. They could have two individual events and two relay events, but they cannot have three individual events per National Federation rules. Again, we're going through, continuing to check the according boxes for the swimmers. For the relays, we check the header on the column. That enters our free relay, or our medley relay, and our free relay. To designate the swimmers on the relays, which is something you did not do during the performance period, you'll go through and select the order of your relay. Who's going first, second, third, and fourth. Please remember that teams are allowed to change their relay personnel and order of relay up to the entry deadline as well as after the entry deadline, including at the state meet itself during the conduct of the meet. One thing, though, that you cannot do, though, is once your individual entries are in the system and the entry deadline of 4 p.m. on January 30th has passed, you are not allowed to change your individual event entries. So please make sure you get those correct. Note also over here we have designations for relay alt, that's relay alternates, and managers. This allows you to designate team personnel as extra folks to fill out relays in the event that you may only have four swimmers. You may want to have extra people available in the event that someone gets injured, sick, or other. Note that the relay alternate option is not available for the boys down here because there are no relays. Teams are allowed a maximum of four relay alternates for their team per gender. 
Once you're done with your roster, first double check it. Make sure you've got the swimmers in the events you want them in. The 100 free, not the 500 free. The big mix-up that happens with most people is backstroke and breaststroke. If they're qualified in those two events, make sure you check the right column. Once you're done with the roster the way you want it, and you've checked it, save it, and it's entered into the system. Oh, notice we're missing a swimmer on our medley relay. I've got to designate a third swimmer. Let's save it. And now everything's in the system. And notice the roster was saved on this date at this time. Please print this page for your records. Notice again, this is time date stamped. You want to print this as soon as you've completed it and have it for your records in the event that there are any technical issues. This can avoid a great number of problems if we have any questions regarding your entries, if anything gets messed up in the process. Once you're done, save it, and you're complete with your entries. Please remember you can make alterations to your entries throughout the year. You can make them all the way up to the entry deadline, which again is Friday, January the 30th at 4 p.m. Please remember that once a swimmer is qualified in the state meet and in the proof of performance system, they are not yet entered in the state meet. You have to go through this entry process in order to guarantee that they're actually entered in the meet. This concludes the process of doing your state entries. You're ready to go at this point.